Dallas police officer and his family escaped a fire that destroyed their home on Christmas Eve. Yeah, while they weren't hurt, they lost everything inside their home. Jack Fink shows us how their neighbors and how the community are now jumping in to help them. All of it's Everything gone. Everything is gone. Everything's gone. Everything. Flames rapidly tore through this house while Gerardo Guardiola, his wife, and their extended family were finishing dinner on Christmas Eve. It's heartbreaking. I built this house in 2005. I moved in on Christmas Eve. I've been here since then. Guardiola, a Dallas police officer for 21 years, says his children first spotted smoke while they were on the backyard trampoline. Everyone escaped without getting hurt. I struggle looking at it now myself as an adult. I don't, I don't know if I want the kids to see that. Neighbors, friends, even strangers are rallying around the Guardiolas. Last night, they brought food, clothing, even presents for the family. They also brought coffee for firefighters. There's only 14 houses here in the community. Uh, again, when something happens to one, it happens to all. Uh, these are these are family members to us. Friends of ours that were, you know, calling and texting and were able to bring things by and just provide support. You know, that's that's what we're here for. That's what we're called to do. We're all out here uh, as a community, uh, arm in arm, and you know that that's really kind of what life is all about. That's what this season's all about. Is is uh, family and your faith. We have a good neighbor. They've been helping us and. And thank you, everybody, for being with us. With such wonderful neighbors, the Guardiolas say there is no doubt they will rebuild here. I got to stay here. We love it. I mean, we hate that this happened, but it's still home, and we're going to do the best we can to get it back up. In Kaufman County, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. Mm -hmm. Well, the Dallas Police Association's Assist the Officer Foundation is putting the family up in a hotel, and they're providing financial assistance for them. If you'd like to help the family, you can contact the foundation directly. The information is on our website, cbsdfw.com. Just click on links and numbers.